Hey everybody, welcome to the Easter Jeep Safari 2023. And in this video, we are showcasing one of the coolest concepts here, the sideburn concept. And before we get into this video, I wanna give a huge thank you to our partner sponsor, Onyx Off-Road. Check them out for all your trail needs so you know what you're getting into and you'll never get lost. But I can't wait to bring you this Jeep, so let's just hop inside and start driving it down the trail. Hey Tommy, I'm driving the new concept Gladiator called Sideburn. And this is a performance part Jeep that shows off some of the latest and coolest things that'll be coming to a Jeep dealership near you. So let's kind of give them a walk around and let's kind of give them a drive and talk about what it's like to be in this really, shall we call it a bright green Jeep? Yeah, it's really cool. I think it's solar flare yellow, if I'm right. Flare yellow? Yeah. 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 Solar flare yellow. Um, I think it's a green though, personally. That's just a me thing though. It looks though. like one of those Amazon frog colors. <laughs> it's a good color. It's really bright, really bold. And this is a Gladiator that's been heavily customized by the folks at JPP. And it includes some parts which are production, some parts which are conceptual that may make it into production. Um, but it's a really cool Jeep. And when we stop here for a sec, we'll show them the outside and talk about what makes it so special. Yeah, there's a really cool thing I want to show you because obviously in a Gladiator, you can go tailgating. And where do you normally tailgate? On the on the tailgate. Right, but <laughs> in this one, you can actually tailgate off the front. You're so, going to want to see that. So you've got both. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then what do you think of this, dude? It's cool. So for the Cyber concept, they've been kind of messing with some dashboard materials. We've got this topographical map of Moab here. It's also continued down here in the center console. This is one area where I think that the Mopar folks and the JPP folk could really get a little bit more creative and have some more fun is with the appliques across the dash not only body color but there's like a lot of opportunity for cool things here um, but yeah let's pull over up here down on top of this ridge and we'll show them some of the great things that they've yeah. been working on and people are wondering why you know Jeep performance parts right I mean there's so many after parts after uh, part manufacturers out there and the cool thing about you know getting the stuff from Jeep is that you can roll it into if you have a loan or you can roll it into the warranty of the vehicle I mean it, it's just designed to work with the vehicle as opposed to being you know aftermarket so it's factory and tacked on yeah it's, yeah it's good stuff it's not just tacked on all right then pull up over here and we'll do a quick exterior tour okay so Sideburn here is a really interesting futuristic take on what a Gladiator can be. And it includes some parts, which like I said, are gonna be um, potentially production, some parts that are production, but let's talk about it. So first of all, the half door design with the hard top, a highly underrated look, which is a, a great way to experience the outdoors and still retain some of the confidence of having a door. This one has the uh, full Gorilla Glass in it as well to increase the rock chip uh, prevention. I love this little bar up top. Once Again, keeping with kind of that Tron theme, you've got these hoops and then these dual pod lights in each of the hoops. But really, a lot of the changes are in the back, the side burn portion. So this rear-mounted structure, which stretches between the cab and the bed and gives you these little integrated steps and this little bed bar, this headache rack. I think it's a cool look. Gives it like a futuristic Baja truck design. And then of course the bed itself, they have carved out. They have given you some light weighting. They've incorporated these roto packs into the bed sides themselves. And of course the spare tie in the rear. And then the tailgate, absolutely nuts. Look at, they've gone to town with the tailgate and some of the lightweight aero features in the back. I also like this color um, dual tone bumper with these silver inserts, the black tow hooks. Unfortunately, black tow hooks don't work as well as the red tow hooks, but you know, I think we'll get around that one day or another. The Pelican cases up top there for some additional storage. And then if we take a look at the inside, some other things too, check out the vinyl floor. So this is a production part which you can get on the Wranglers. It's currently um, conceptualized here in the Gladiator, but vinyl floors make it so easy to clean out and make it so easy to uh, maintain on a daily basis. And then we also have some storage underneath the seats here as well. So fold these up and then check that out. Little storage cubbies, really a good look. But uh, I think my dad wants to show you his favorite part. So Tommy, why do you think it's called Cyburn? Well, it's because of, no, it's not because of that. No, it's because of that. I think it's because they put little Elvis no. instead of the trail rated. Dad, look at it. Scoot back. Scoot back. <laughs> so do you see these structures in the rear with the little slots? Yeah. That's why it's called sideburn, and then they incorporated that into the Elvis on the side. You, I'm wondering if the Elvis came first. They didn't start with the Elvis. They started with the, the, the structure. Hey, by the way, guys, if you want to see all the Jeeps from uh, the Easter Jeep Safari, like that one, show them, Tommy. Uh, come on to all TFL where we've got a complete walk around of all of these cool 
concept. So here's my favorite part. Remember I said, in a Gladiator, right, you can normally tailgate out the back? Well, here you could tailgate out the front. Instead of recovery hooks, there are these little whiskers on the front of this, right? And check this out. You take this bull bar and you deploy it like so, and then you get your favorite frosty beverage, <laughs> have a seat, and just watch the beautiful Moab sky or hang out with your buddies at the next football game. How cool is that? Brad from Trail Recon, All electric. enjoying the Magneto 3.0 concept, but a huge thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you on the next episode. Um, we'll drive that one, well, we've driven it twice actually in the past, so you can check out those videos over at tfloffroad.com. Or alltfl.com, Tommy. Or alltfl.com. Ciao.